Hello, Daisies! My name is Kelsey, and I work for the Girl Scouts of Eastern Washington and Northern Idaho. I'm also a Brownie Troop leader. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps to earn the Daisy Space Science Explorer Badge. This badge will have you explore the sun, the moon, and the stars. On the screen will be a list of all the supplies you will need. For our first step, you're going to make a sky book. Make a small journal for yourself. You will need about four pieces of paper. Fold the papers in half and use a stapler to hold them all together. You can decorate the front however you like, but remember that it's a sky book for your space science badge, so maybe you'd like to draw outer space, a rocket ship, or an astronaut. Go outside in the morning and look up at the sky. Be sure you do not look directly at the sun. What do you notice? Pay attention to the clouds and the color of the sky. Can you see the moon? Then make predictions, which are guesses, about what the sky will look like around lunchtime and around dinner time. Use your sky book to write or draw about what you see and about your predictions. Then at lunchtime, go outside again. See if your guess was correct. Write about what you see again. If you want to change your guess about what the sky will look like at dinner time, you can do that. Be sure to write or draw what you see in your sky book and write down your new guess. Then go outside one more time in the evening around dinner time. Was your guess right? What's the same as this morning and this afternoon? And what's different? Scientists make guesses or predictions often when they're studying different topics. It's important that they check their predictions so they can learn new things. Hold on to your sky book. We'll use it again in another step. But for now, let's learn about the sun and shadows. Shadows are made when something, like a person or an item, moves in front of a light source, like the sun. You can play with shadows in this step. Find an object around your home that has an interesting shape, maybe a toy or a piece of decoration. Dim the lights in the room so it's a little dark. Place the item next to a piece of paper and have an adult shine a flashlight onto the object so the shadow falls onto your paper. Trace around that shadow on the paper. Next, move the object to another spot but keep your paper in the same place and have your adult stay in the same place with the flashlight. Did the shadow change? Trace this new shadow on another piece of paper. If it's a very sunny day, you can do this outside instead. Place the object where the sun makes it cast a shadow onto your paper. Now we're going to move on to the night sky. On a clear night without many clouds, you can see the moon and many distant stars in the sky. We're going to use your sky book from before to observe the moon and the stars. Make a plan to go outside at night with an adult to look at the moon on at least three days in a row. Try to go outside at about the same time of night every night, maybe right before you go to bed. Just like we did during the day, write or draw about what you see in the sky. Do you see the moon? Be sure to draw what shape the moon is. Do you see stars? How many? Make your predictions about how the sky will look tomorrow and the night after that. Then go out again on two more nights and record what you see. Were your predictions correct? Look at the drawings you made of the moon in your sky book. In this picture, you can see the different phases of the moon. Which moon phases do your drawings look like? If you have a pair of binoculars or a telescope, you can try using them to look up at the moon to get a better view. It's perfectly safe to look at the moon, but it's not safe to look at the sun. Can you see the light and dark spots on the moon's surface? For as long as people have been looking up at the sky, they have been making up stories about what the light and dark shapes look like. Some people see a face or a whole person. Other people see a rabbit. Look at the moon. What shapes do you see on it? People have also looked for shapes and patterns in the stars. These shapes are known as constellations. Constellations are like big connect the dot puzzles. The stars are the dots and we imagine lines connecting them to make shapes. The Big Dipper is an easy one to spot in the night sky. Look for it when you work on your sky book. We're going to create a star maker to bring a constellation inside with us. Pick a constellation. Here are some ideas, or you can have an adult help you look up some other ones. Take a cylinder-shaped container and use a marker to draw the constellation on the bottom of it. Make big dots to mark the stars. When you're done, have an adult help you use a pin to poke a small hole in the container in all of the dots that you made. Go into a darkened room or wait until it's nighttime. Put a flashlight into the container and shine it onto the ceiling or a blank wall. Your constellation will shine through. When you've learned about the sun, moon, and stars, you will have finished earning your Space Science Explorer badge. Congratulations, Daisies! 
Be sure to share what you learned with your troop leader and feel free to share with council too. We'd love to see what you've learned.